Tell me about your... Uh, do it. Do they usually are. Yeah. So tell me about your uh, um, testimony with your ghost experiences and spirits and stuff. Well, really was mainly my mom. Do what? It was mainly your mom? So it was just like her spirit was preparing to die and there was spirits around her to let her know that she was going to go with them or something? Yeah. Well, that'd be sweet. Uh, oh, what? Like, really, bro? <laughs> that one. We're all basically all fucking alone. No one's comforting us unless we tap in and we can see the spirit and then we communicate with them. That's about all there is. That's what I've been through. I've seen my dad's spirit and... Um, for a few few minutes, and that was about it. He told me stuff and whatever. Anyways, you tell me your experience. Did they say anything? Because you have to tune in with your spiritual ears to hear them too. Because some people are like, they seen a ghost, but they didn't say anything. It's because you have to tune in with your spiritual ears and your spiritual eyes to see them. And it's like a freaking mind chore. It's not like spoon fed to nobody. That's my experience, anyways. But what did you say? <laughs> I guess my phone went out again. Hold on. Are you there? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Like my mom's friend. Mm -hmm. my, mom my, my mom caught her friend kissing on her man. Uh -huh. Right. And before that, <clears throat> before that, she had a feeling that it was happening. Yeah. Because. They're talking in our living room, and my mom and her are sitting there talking and shit, and uh, my mom said, next thing you know, this ghost come up out of the grate, grabbed her friend by the leg, and scared the fuck out of her. Cool. And mom smiled. Your mom just smiled? No, it looked at my mom and smiled. Oh, well that's sweet. It was scaring my mom's friend because she knew she was lying. She had saw that ghost had saw her making out with my stepdad. <sighs> wow! So cheating really so actually. So it, it came up out of the grave to scare her for my mother, you know, knowing what it knew. Maybe, probably. So like cheating and shit's relevant on the other side. Sometimes people are still jealous and ridiculous. And selfish? That's funny. I guess so. That's fucked up. People are idiots. Well, that's nice that, you know, heartbreak and cheating is kind of relevant when you just lie. God, it's so fucking well, stupid. Well, uh, my dream was about my mom. I was crying myself to sleep, and that was a few weeks back, because after she passed away, and I remember the last few words out of my mouth was, Father, please let me see Mom, right before I passed out. Mm -hmm. And I had a dream, and I'm usually a lucid dreamer, like I know what I'm dreaming. Yeah. And I can usually, you know, change it into what I want at that point, when I realize it's a dream. Cool. <laughs> And I knew I was dreaming, but when my mom popped up, I plumb forgot about it, you know? And I was plum like, Mom, plum. what the fuck? Did you fake me on death? And she turned to look to me and goes, no, son, I died. And I'm living more than I ever have before. Wow. Wow. But she goes, she goes, and you, quit being a big-ass baby. We're all watching you. Wow. And she goes, and I want you to know you are one of the most spoiled children of heaven. <laughs> I said, way to throw my head, Mom, thanks. Right. You yeah. know, she's like, it really, she goes, God spoils you. The other, the other kids of heaven are not nearly as spoiled as you. You are very, very spoiled by your creator. Wow. Like, well, wow. Wow. And, goes, and the only reason he does spoil you is because he knows you truly appreciate it. 
Oh, well, that's a good thing to do instead of being ungrateful. <laughs>